When one talks of Zimbabwean football, few names can compete with Highlanders Football Club when it comes to history, passion, success, identity, and pure beauty. While some might assume that Boso is the pride of the Ndebele nation, that assumption is actually more further from the truth than one could ever imagine. Because if ever there is a team that has been considered the team of the nation, then it's none other than Chilamoya Boso. Hello and welcome to another episode on Sassen's Corner, and today I'll be giving you a brief history of the iconic Highlanders Football Club. If it's your first time on this channel, remember to subscribe to this channel, like the video, and always feel free to leave your comments in the comment section. Let's get straight into it. Highlanders was formed in 1926 by King Lobengula's group two grandsons, Albert and Rhodes Kumalo, who were sent to study in South Africa, where they developed a love and a passion for the game of football. Originally known as Lions Football Club, the club later became known as Matebelele and Highlanders Football Club, that was later on in 1937. Like many teams in Zimbabwean football, Highlanders is also famous because of its numerous nicknames. Among them is Boso, Chilamoya, Amashulanyama, Ezikama Gebula, Hai Hai, and Amatengwani. Boso is Tswana slang simply meaning boss, while Chilamoya is Isindebele and can be loosely interpreted to mean demoralizers. While Ezikama Gebula is famous with Orlando Pirates from South Africa and used because of the similarity of the two clubs. Then there's the famous black and white colors of the club. Apart from Orlando Pirates town in South Africa, there's probably no other team that has made these two colors more famous this side of the African continent apart from Highlanders. And it is said that the club draws the origins of the club's colors from one of the king's regiments known as Amawaba, which simply translates to black and white. Highlanders is also a club of many firsts, as history will show. For instance, Highlanders is the first club from the southern region to win the Chibuku Trophy. They were the first club to win the league title after independence. They were also the first club to win the Heroes Trophy, this was in 1980, as well as the Independence Trophy. The first club to win the Castle Cup, as well as the Blue Ribbon Trophy. Highlanders is also the first team to win the Premier League title four times in a row. And it doesn't end there, because actually, did you know that Highlanders is also the first and only club that has either produced or helped develop the four Zimbabwean players who have played in the famous English Premiership? I'm talking of Peter Ndovu, who of course was the very first African to play in the English Premiership. Then you have Benjani Marwar, who played for Manchester City and Portsmouth. Yes, Benjani Marwar is actually, did actually come through the ranks at Highlanders. Then there's Marvelous Nakamba. Again, he also had a stint at Highlanders Football Club. And of course, Bruce Krobler, who played for Liverpool and actually won the English Premiership title, as well as the European Cup, which is of course now known as the Champions League. So in actual fact, Highlanders has in actual fact even produced a Champions League winner, if you like. Other famous players who have donned the famous black and white jersey include Barry Daka, Taimor Mabaleka, Stuart Shuto Murisa, Abraham Bambo, Mercedes Rambo Sibanda, Zenzo Moyo, Madinda and Adam Lovu, Benjamin Konjera, Willard Kumalo, Daisy Kapenya, Tapuwa Kapini, Johannes Ngozo, Noel Kaseke, Caesar Koza, Gift Lunga Jr. and Senior, Makwinji Somapiri, and so forth. The list goes on and on and on. And of course, you cannot mention Highlanders without mentioning the famous coaches who have also led the iconic Zimbabwean team. And these include the likes of Cosma Zulu, Ngobile Mafu, Raman Gumbo, the British coach Brighton Eddie May, Dick Chama, Metembe Lovu, and of course, Kelvin Kayindu. It's also important to note that in 1975, the late great former Vice President Joshua Ngomu advised the club to drop their then tribal moniker of Matebeleland because of tribal and ethnic tensions that rose whenever they played their then bitter and arch rivals who were called Mashonaland United. Mashonaland United actually would also go on to be named Zimbabwe Saints because of the intervention of the legendary uh, former vice president. Besides Zimbabwe Saints, Highlanders has also had famous rivalries with the now defunct Amazulu Football Club. And of course, who can forget Dynamos. They are bitter rivals from Harare and of course, Caps United. No doubt, whenever Highlanders plays these two Harare giants, it is always a mouth-watering clash and always full of controversy, action, suspense, as well as drama. So all in all, it's fair to say that Highlanders is an icon of Zimbabwean football. Zimbabwean football would not be what it is without the contribution of this massive Zimbabwean icon. Thank you very much for tuning in to today's episode. Until next time, stay safe.
India, cheerio.